In this video, I want to talk about a fairly new app for Android called Penly. And my favorite planner inserts, which are all from Peanut Planner Co. And how I'm able to combine both of these amazing tools to create a planning system that I just love to spend time on. So let's get started. Now, I'd like to start off by saying that my printer gave out on me last summer. And for the time being, I can't print the inserts for my evil plans at home. And it's not very convenient at all. But Penly saved the day because it allows me to upload the PDF files. And even though I didn't find this app until the middle of February, I was able to get into this new way of digital planning and get back in step for 2022. Now, Penly comes with a set of planners built in, and even though I've played with them a little, I'm not using them for my planning at the moment. I've only had the app for about six weeks, and I'm still learning all the things I can do with it, um, you know, like the linking and things. Um, what I am doing, though, is building my own book in a folder I created using the Peanut Planner PDFs I imported. Um, I've also created a few Penley documents that resemble the paper version of my evil plans, which is my go-to for my tasks and calendar. I've always struggled with weekly calendars. Not the planning part, the calendar part. I don't remember ever having a weekly page look in any way like it, it traditionally should. My version of weekly planning consists of grouping all the tasks into groups on a single page or insert. Most of my to-dos don't have a specific time or deadline, and if they do, I simply note it beside the task. Peanut Planner Co. has a Facebook group, and there are a couple of daily insert freebies that are amazing to look at and so versatile. So the two that I like the most are the Pink Heart Daily, and this one came with an option without the hearts. And then the other one is the Daily Plan. Um, these are just so nice to look at and so versatile. Um, these daily pages are my go-to for mapping out my weeks. And I also like to use the set of grid boxes that you can buy on the website. And they are number 136, which is four grid boxes. And 137, which is two grid boxes. And 138, which is two columns. And also there's this one here that is number 90. It's a daily tasks, two days on one page. Um, but I see them as six category boxes. Um, that's just how I see myself using them. Um, these are all great for brain dumping and separating um, tasks and thoughts and um, ideas. Um, good for event planning. Now the weekly inserts that I picked out are number 71. This is for sale on the website. Um, this one's just again so versatile. I like the blank boxes for the days of the week and I, you get a little checklist over here and you get a little line page over here and you get a little grid box up here so it's just got a little bit of everything. Um, by far one that I think I'll probably go further with but there are a couple of other ones and they are number 86 um, I don't know I really like the way it, it's laid out and um, then finally the other one is part of the Facebook group um, it's a freebie it's very popular um, and it looks like this so you've got um, part of your week here and a tracker 
and some things that you can lay out like uh, something you're going to do each day of the week. Then you got a couple of checklists and the rest of your week right here. So um, just real nice to look at. So another struggle of mine, my handwriting isn't the most consistent and I mess up a lot. I'm rarely satisfied with the, the most things that I write. I scratch and scribble a good bit. I really like the idea of creating layouts that are neat and tidy without messing up a paper insert. I always hate ruining a paper insert. I feel this app is going to prevent a lot of that. I really admire people who use any kind of bound book to keep bullet journals and other notebooks. They are brave. I almost have to be a loose leaf paper user. The Pinley app is very loose leaf like. And combining the peanut planner inserts with the Pinley app makes filling them in so easy, quick, and neat looking. I really, really, really love that so much. Keeping a date book and a task book is, after all, ultimately about creating a plan quick and simple to stay on track of getting stuff done and not forgetting anything. And that's all there is to it. So let me show you how I combine these two tools. There are two ways I can set up a peanut planner insert or any PDF in the Penley app. One thing to consider before you load in PDF planner inserts, the one page inserts have two copies on um, one half sized page. So that comes out to an eight and a half by five and a half sized page. And there are two copies on a single print. If you use a personal or a pocket size insert, you'll have four copies on one page. Um, so in order to get them into the Penley app correctly, you can use an online PDF tool to edit it down to one copy on one page. So with that said, first I upload the PDF on the app's home screen and you can access files on your SD card or Google Drive. And once it's in there, I can open it. Um, I can make a copy for use if I wanna keep a permanent copy on hand. I can name it and just start editing. And then two, I can create a Penley doc from the main screen. Add in the insert by picking it from the photo album on the toolbar. Now, it's important to know that it must be converted to a PNG file first, and that can be done by using an online PDF convert tool. All of the images that you use via the album must be in PNG format. Now, there are a couple of good reasons for having the PDF inserts converted into the PNG format. When you create a document in the Penley app, it becomes a Penley document, and that makes it possible to link it into the planners that came pre-installed with the app. And that's the way I understand it. Um, I'm pretty certain you can't link the PDF docs into the pre-made planners. And I can't demonstrate linking in this video because, as I mentioned before, I haven't worked with the built-in books enough yet. Um, so, uh, learning how to link is something that I'd like to learn soon. And now another way the PNG copy can come in handy. This is insert number 88, week on two pages. Two page inserts are reversed on the original PDF for printing purposes. If you split it into two separate docs, you can fix this by resetting the inserts in the correct order on a Penley dock. Now, deleting a side is also something you'll want to do with the single inserts. Even when you're uploading them as PDFs to use as PDFs, or they're gonna look like this. Again, this can be fixed by using the online PDF tools. You know, um, I think that I've made it pretty clear how these PDF tools are your friend. I'm linking my favorites in the description. 
and I'm working on a video where I work through all the steps of separating and cropping and ultimately converting it into a PNG file using the said online tools. But quickly, the way you do this is by creating a doc on the home screen. Now I'm going to leave the pre-selected A4 which is roughly US printer paper size. I'm going to select landscape for this one and pick my color. I prefer the lighter shades for this. Uh, for this. Um, then create. Now open up the album on the toolbar and tap the one you want to use. And now you can put them in the order that you want. The same way you would add any stickers that you might use from the album. The uh, PNG copies are going to be kind of hard to see in the album. You'll get a small drop down box that shows them and if you pick wrong you can simply remove it and try again. To keep up with all the notes I take, I'm very picky about what I write my notes on, whether it's paper or digital. And the fewer things I use the better. But Penley is going to be an addition well worth adding to the list of favorite productive tools. I'm using it at least a few times every single day and having so much fun with it. This might sound silly, but using the Penley app is so fun that it feels a lot like playing with color forms when I was a kid. I just had to add that in. So I'm going to wrap this one up. And I've added some links below if you want to check them out. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on the content. Drop me a comment. Give me the thumb. You really make my day if you do. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I have more to share coming soon. So stay tuned.